Hello ladies and gentlemen, Ziggs here today to take a look at Citizens of Earth. This is a game that if the graphic style doesn't turn you off right off the bat, um, I think you may fall in love with. It is a very funny, uh, amusing, kind of quirky game about an egotistical vice president who lets everybody do all his dirty work for him and um, just kind of thinks he's all that and a bag of chips. He's, he's pretty amazing. So we've actually kind of accidentally jumped right into the combat here. Um, so I will show you the combat part of it right off the bat. Uh, you have these abilities over here on the left-hand side uh, with which you're going to defeat a lot of enemies. You have energy points down below your characters, those blue spheres, which you regenerate one every turn. And you can use those to use um, stronger abilities uh, rather than just basic ones, which don't use energy orbs, but typically aren't nearly as strong. The energy part of the... I'm sorry, the combat part of the game is one of its strengths, I believe. But it also gets to be a bit repetitive. Um, I've really enjoyed the combat when I first started playing, and for the first couple hours, it was very interesting trying to figure out the combos and the counters. There are weaknesses and strengths on every enemy, so you'll want to try to figure out uh, the quickest way to kill them. But things and enemies like this just get to be kind of frustrating and time-consuming to the point where um, about eight hours played in the game now, I just try to avoid combat as much as possible uh, unless it's a story mob or something I have to do for a quest. I'd rather just walk around it than fight it. Now you do gain XP for defeating mobs and you'll see here we're going to get a level up it looks like on our baker. So, depending on who you have in your group, you're going to get different bonuses when you level up. So, instead of getting 1 HP, we got 3. And instead of getting 1 speed attack, we got 3 from having uh, our brother and the psychologist with us. So, this is interesting. And there, there is one of the major strengths of the game. And I'll kind of cover that first, I guess. The strengths of this game are going to definitely be the character building. The, the stats, the RPG elements where you build the abilities, improve the stats of your characters, things like that. Are actually really good. Uh, one of the other major strengths, and this is something that has drawn me to keep playing the game, is the dialogue. The dialogue's actually hilarious. Um, anytime that you interact with another, uh, like, main story character, the banter that goes back and forth is just amazing, and it makes me laugh constantly, and just overall, it's a hysterical game. So, based on that, or on those two things, uh, you may really enjoy the game. The weaknesses I've already kind of mentioned, and it, it does have to do with the repetitiveness of the combat, and the fact that by a couple hours in, I'm just trying to avoid combat rather than actually engage in it. So minor spoilers, we're going to go into the, I believe, the town hall in the capital city here. This is after the initial starting zone. We've only kind of completed a very basic area, and now we're going to head into the town hall, and I assume we're going to get some uh, dialogue here to give you guys a little bit of an idea of what that's all about. Um, I guess we'll walk through here. Um, overall... Welcome to the Capitol Building. May I help you? Hey, who are you? Where's the usual receptionist? She got downsized. B but she always stocked my favorite candies. We're in the middle of a number of changes. Yes, I've noticed. Well then, how can I help you today? I need you to open the gate so I can see the president. I'm sorry, but lowly citizens need an appointment to see the president. Look to Libo! Be cool, I've got this. Yo, Eagle Man, I'm the Vice President of the World. I don't need appointments. Oh, sorry, I didn't recognize you. But there's a poster of me right behind you. Is there? Oh, you! Finally! So, let's bring on that service with a smile, shall we? You were the trophy candidate, right? Trophy? Who do you th the gates have been opened. All right, so I'm going to skip through the rest of this by hitting Y. I'm sure you can find it. Well, yes. Or maybe not. The gates have been opened. All right, thank you. So there you go, kind of an idea, the banter. The vice president thinks he's all that, a bag of chips. Nobody else thinks he's really worth their time. It's, it's pretty funny because it just constantly happens when he talks to anybody. He's so high on himself. Um, let's actually, I'm going to leave this building so we can show you a bit more of the combat, I think. And um, maybe we'll kind of get to a conclusion then towards the end. Um, but the other weakness of the game, if I had to pick on it, would be the weak, um, the navigation. Now, you can hit start on your controller or escape, I believe, on your keyboard to bring up this uh, kind of tablet in your hand. And this is where you keep track of the characters that you're going to recruit to join your squad. And they all have strengths and weaknesses, different abilities, whether they can heal or taunt or do something like that in combat. So that part of it is really cool. Uh, but... 
it as far as like finding the actual missions to recruit these guys is a little difficult because you'll go and you'll talk to somebody and they'll give you very vague directions on what they want you to do to actually allow you to recruit them. Uh, I want to give you a for example, but I can't really think of the dialogue off the top of my head right now. Um, but most of them will give you some very general direction and not tell you exactly what they want you to do. Let's talk to this guy. Is there a dialogue option that appeals to you? So because there is a blue thing next to him, we can recruit him. Hmm. And he's going to tell me to come to him at Eden Industries where he works so we can see about scheduling something in the future. Um, I don't have any way on my board here, as far as I know. Let's look at... Actually, do we have a map? Uh, we have a map somewhere, and I... Actually, where is the map? Sorry, I'm... Fa oh, there it is. All right, so we do have kind of a map here, but we can't really move it around. Uh, we can't highlight any of those tags to actually see what they are so they just give us very general information it just give, does give us kind of a look at the area we're in but it would be much much more helpful if they would give you a specific direction to go in or a specific spot kind of a quest pick up and turn in mechanic i know that's holding your hand a little bit but for me as someone who has played a lot of mmos and things like that i appreciate the directed experience um, this is a very open world game if you enjoy exploring a wacky and weird world and kind of just laughing maybe, uh, you will enjoy this. Let's go ahead and fight the stop sign since it's walking towards us. And what I should show you actually, there is the ability to send your characters or your um, allies after the enemy character and you'll get a, um, you, you'll get bonus action points for that or bonus energy for that so you can attack and do more damage quicker. If we could talk at all about any kind of moral warning at all, there's nothing major, but there is things like this hypnosis with the psychologist. I will, though, point out that it's not required that you use that character. Um, most of the stuff is just smacking somebody with a rolling pin, dogpiling, things like that that are very, uh, sure, maybe minor violence, but not anything, you know, bloody, gory, nasty whatsoever. Um, I would say the game is very, uh, very friendly to anybody with sensitivities. Uh, it's, it is a lot of fun to play in that way, and I think you won't have any problems being offended by pretty much anything in here. Um, there are some points maybe where the dialogue is a little bit, um, uh, what's the word? The, the dialogue can get a little bit snappy or a little bit, whatever, aggressive or, or that kind of thing, but it's, it's not bad at all. Um, let's see, maybe we can talk to someone else and see if we can get a more vague direction. You need me for anything? There are interesting characters spread throughout the world like this where what would you like to build? You, they actually allow you to, and I don't even know what this is honestly, um, but they allow you to do things like change what time of day it is, change the music, change the zoom in and zoom out on your characters, but it's all done through in-game characters, like in-game characters doing things for you, which I think is a little bit strange. I would have preferred a much more fleshed out, um, like system menu here. If you look at the controls, they do tell you exactly how all the controls work, but they give you no ability to rebind them. And it really doesn't seem to be much of a reason for that. It would be very easy to rebind, rebind the keys that you have here, as well as your controller here. They do give you a, a single set option. They don't give you any alternate modes or anything like that. So you just have the single mode in options. If you want to change any of the graphical settings, you actually need to exit the game and come back into it. So that's something also to mention. Just a little bit. I don't know if it's a port from a console or where this game actually came from. I didn't do the research to find that stuff out. Um, but my guess is it's kind of a mediocre port from wherever it was before. So let's just talk to this stop sign because it has the talk sign over its head. <laughs> okay. And I would say in conclusion, and I want to keep this a short review, so hopefully this is not uh, overly too much. Uh, but in conclusion, I would say this is a fun game with several strong parts. Like the combat is strong, the character building is strong, the dialogue is strong. But the weaknesses of it, uh, in my mind, the repetitiveness of the combat and then the lack of really a cohesive story that I can latch on to and feel a part of, uh, those two things for me drew away from the experience to the point where I'm probably going to put this down after recording this review and not pick it up again. And that's a shame because there are really a lot of strong parts to it and I wish that there was just that one hook to draw me in and keep me playing. So with that in mind, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you in the next video.